At six, rounding up Japanese Americans and sending them to internment camps was the right thing to do for America. That's what a Colorado state representative appeared to suggest during a debate at the state capitol. Phil Covarrubias' speech was or has ignited a national controversy, some suggesting he justified the camps. Well, as Lance Hernandez found, he says he didn't. So take a listen for yourself. For anybody that has never been in the heat of combat, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, and all of that was going on, there's no time to ask questions and find out who's a citizen and who's not. That comment raised several eyebrows and a stinging response from one of the bill's sponsors. What he said is that basically when you're fearful, uh, you throw the Constitution out the window and then you just round up whoever you, whoever's making you fearful. Today, Covarrubias denied that he was providing justification for the internment camps. Absolutely not. Uh, under no circumstance should any human being be uh, subjected to that kind of treatment, ever. He says his comments were simply a reflection that the attack on Pearl Harbor started a domino effect. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I find that very amusing and it very political. Dr. Joanne Oda Fujioka is one of nearly 120,000 Japanese Americans who were rounded up and sent to a detention camp following the outbreak of World War II. We were loaded on the trains by armed guards, armed soldiers, and uh, the shades were down and we didn't know, have, have any idea where we were going. She called Covarrubias' comment infuriating because he had no knowledge of the environment back then. She says there were Japanese Americans in Colorado who couldn't travel more than 10 miles from home without permission. So to say that this was the heat of battle is far, far from true. And, and it didn't justify it anyway, but it certainly was not accurate. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.